Hey guys, today I am filming my August favorites. I hope the lighting is okay. I filmed it earlier in the day, so hopefully that means it'll be better. Um, I have a lot of things to show you this month, and most of them are new, which is super exciting because I don't haul too much, but I just uh, had my birthday, so a lot of these things are from that. So I am have a birthday haul coming up soon, so um, stay tuned for that. And I'm just going to start off with face. And the first thing I have would be my Skin 79 Super BB Cream, the hot pink label. And I got this off of Amazon for like $15, which is expensive for a, like a foundation-y face product for me because I'm, I don't buy like high-end foundations or anything. But I wanted to try BB cream and I didn't want to waste money trying out the American BB creams because they aren't true BB creams. They're tinted moisturizers and that's not what I wanted. I wanted a true BB cream. So that's why I picked this one up. And next is a look that I've been wearing like at the beginning of the month because when I went to work, I didn't want to wear too much on my eyes. I just put it on enough to to make it a blank canvas. So what I would use for that would be my MAC Paint Pot in Nubile. And it just looks like this. And this is a matte shade, which is great. And it is skin tone. It's not my skin tone, but it is a skin tone color. So this is really good for that. And then over top of that, I will apply my Wet n Wild Single and Brulee. Just a matte cream color. Another thing I've been loving this month in general are eye bases. I got a lot of the color tattoos for my birthday, so I was really excited about that. So um, this Almond Trio is one of my Holy Grail eyeshadows, and I got bases to go under it that matches colors perfectly. The first would be the Milani Shadow Eyes and Champagne Toast. It just looks like this. You can see that here. And I just applied this on my lid. And then in the crease, I applied the Maybelline Color Tattoo and Pomegranate Punk. It looks like and those um, go perfectly with that, with that trio. And I've been wanting this color, but I didn't know how much I was gonna use it. But then I figured out that it matches perfectly to that crease color. So now I know this is one that I'm gonna be using most often. And next I'm gonna show you guys my mascara routine. I have a lot um, that I wear, but I only do like one coat of each. So first I'll alternate between these two because they kind of do the same thing. And the first is the Maybelline Defina Lash Volume Mascara. So I'll use either this or the Cargo 3 Triple Action Mascara. And I really love both of these mascaras, so I'll go back and forth between which one I use of those. Then I will apply my Maybelline Mega Plush my Maybelline Falsies, then my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara, which I have rubbed the label off completely because I use it so much. And um, hopefully I'll have a video showing you guys how I apply my mascara and whatnot. And next is a lip product, and it is another Kissable Balm Stain. Uh, I have showed one in the past two favorite videos, but this will be the last one I'm showing you because I'm not going to pick up any more. But this is Honey, which I know is a really popular shade, so I wanted to pick it up. It is like a like a neutral mauve color. You can see it right here. And this is really pretty, and I really recommend this product in general. I think it's really great. And Revlon, it makes my favorite lip products for sure. And um, next will be a nail polish, and that will be the Julie G Bikini. And this is from Rite Aid. Now this color has been raved and it's been really popular. And so I, of course I had to pick it up and I actually really did like it. It made my hands look really tan and it was just very flattering. 
And next I have a couple of brushes. The first is the Up and Up Crease Brush from um, Target. I think it was $1.50. And I just love that it's like tapered but long and it is good for blending and crease work. I used it today. This was a black eyeshadow and I just applied it with this and then blended it out. So this is a really good brush. I have my Real Technique brushes that I got for my birthday and I'm obsessed with them. So first I got the Core Collection which has the buffing brush which I use for foundation, the det detailer brush which I use for concealer, pointed foundation brush which I use to set my under eye concealer and the contour brush which I use to contour and this one is my favorite brush. I've tried so many brushes to contour and it always looks too harsh but this applies perfectly. And then I also got the powder brush to apply bronzer and then I got the e.l.f. face kabuki brush to blend out um, my contour and my blush because I tend to go a little heavy. And lastly, my um, my favorite perfume would be the Sarah Jessica Parker NYC perfume. This is such a good scent. Um, you can get it at Kohl's and Walmart is where I got this. The day after Christmas, I got it on sale. It was one of the scents. And for random favorites, my favorite song this month is One More Night by Maroon 5. And my favorite YouTuber is Shades of Cassie. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment or a video response of your favorites, and please stay tuned for more videos. Bye guys.